temporary. We're not stuck inside of it. And said we've got animals drinking from it. Zebra. It was very, very pretty, but the zebra got shy and ran away. Naughty zebra. But there's three left, and hopefully they'll walk the same route as the others. Maybe and stop for a second drink. But who knows? What are you? You all look like you're young stallions. I don't know. There's just a naughty look about them this afternoon, and they're all quite stocky. Maybe they're not even young. They're probably adults. But just the way that they're standing reminds me of three teenage boys up to no good. It's actually noisy out in the bush today, which is unusual. At one point there was crickets. Now there's birds chirping. Sounded like maybe the wa um, African wattled lapwings that were having a, a bit of a complaint. The zebra were making some noises earlier. Isn't that beautiful? It's very peaceful, though, even with the noise. I say that like it was a bad thing. It was not a bad thing. Mara is typically so quiet. Have a little listen. Now it's gone really quiet again. It's quite soothing, isn't it? I really enjoy the peacefulness of the Mara. Well, one of the many things that everybody enjoys about this place. Now, Lloyd, you're wondering if there would be any crocodiles in this water. Maybe, maybe some young ones actually p quite p possibly could be a sneaky spot for a croc to live. But um, under all that sort of algae, and, you know, there's actually quite a bit of water in here. And that this lugger will be quite deep and go on for quite far. So it would actually be the perfect spot for a croc. But I don't see any with my eyes. But that's not to say that there aren't here. You get some youngsters that maybe like to live in here and not worry about um, about competing for the good spots on the, along the Mara River. Now, it seems as though Jamie has left the paved pathways. Let's go see why and where she is off-roading.